Hello everyone and welcome to a new Alliance War video. Today we have War Equalizer. Definitely not one of my favorites, but what can you do? And I found this completely fast team. Oh no, actually, Sobek is average. My bad. And I'm gonna try taking it down with my Guan Yu brothers. Gonna add Topaz here. Wait, wait, wrong healer. This is the one I was looking for. Hopefully we can get going. Get some greens fast enough to win this. We do have some greens, for sure. Let's take this match first. This will set up our second, and oh, actually we, oh nice, we have the diamond. Uh, we can go for the diamond now. And actually, this might even be enough damage to kill Sobek. I doubt it, honestly. But let's give it a try. Oh, that was actually really close. And with the green diamond, that will be enough. So we can do this. Nice, will Anne die as well? Yes, but she revived. Uh, I'm gonna hold, what's his name, Almor. Of course he got targeted by Gephion, but that doesn't matter. And this is it. One new brothers will put an end to this. Well, actually, one was enough with Almor. Perfect. Great first hit. For our second hit, I'm thinking that this team would be a good option. The key thing here to remember is that they have Almadaha, so I probably don't want to take Asmia. Another reason for this is because they have. Um, well, because it's War Equalizer, right? So I need a healer. Do I need a dispeller? Actually, because of Yoon, I probably need a cleanser a bit more. So let's go for Vanilla Regard. And we can use Kirill, the costume version, to counter Freya somewhat. And also to lower their damage, Scuddy isn't such a threat um, in this war type for sure. I still don't want to underestimate her, that's also true, but it should be fine. Oops, wait. Yang Mai, Yang Mei, I don't know, she... To be honest, she really disappointed me. I have that hero and I took her emblems away from her because, I don't know, I just wasn't liking what she, do, do, what she does. She was underwhelming is what I'm trying to say, for sure. Going with some combos here. Charging each color a little bit which is not ideal. Let's hope to get some purples here. <clears throat> that didn't happen. Okay. I'm gonna hold Onatel for now. Really need to start charging my heroes. Let's go purples. Mm, 
Yep. More often than not, she only hits once. Okay, now hopefully no. Ah, Scud is firing. Ah, unlucky combo. I know that this is useless, but let's just check. Okay, I'm pretty sure War Equalizer goes off first, yep. That's why I saved Costume Regard. Um, monk, monk. So we don't want to attack monks. The other three are fair game. I think I'm mostly worried about Yang, um, Al Nadaha here. I'm gonna hold my Grimble to eat some minions. Four seventy, that's miserable damage. To be fair, she is only a hero of the month, but there were better ones before her. And especially after. are somehow firing at the same time. I need to use both healers. How about this? If they fire at the same time again they might just kill someone and we don't want that now do we? But now Al Nadaha is firing in the same turn as Yoon, but we should be fine still. Yep. Barely, but we are. And even without Onatel, for the most part, we were able to win. Although, when she first fired her special skill, that was quite uh, useful. Nice, second attack done. Now, let's check out... I'm pretty sure it's meant to be pronounced Kemeny. Or Kameni, but I'm pretty sure Kameni. Um, so, Bird Brain here is quite dangerous. He has a really strong hit, and basically, we don't want to give him any status ailments. I'd like to try destroying him with my yellow team. Actually, I might even go for. Where is he? Sir Rusli, I rarely use him, but he is quite strong and he is a good hero to take in War Equalizer. And since we have a lot of uh, hitters here, I'm thinking if I want to bring Cadillan for dodge, probably yes. And since we need a healer, let's go with this. And we'll see what we can do. Um, 
and hoping to just burst through Kamen with with my yellow tiles. Ooh, it's not gonna be that easy. Don't want to, him to fire now because of the equalizer. Okay, we have dodge. No, that was a yellow match. Oh, another yellow match. Okay, let's see what he does. Six hundred to six fifty. That's good damage. Luckily, he didn't have any. Oh, he didn't have any. Status ailments, right? That would boost his damage. And this is War Equalizer, so he's definitely not the best hero. And he wouldn't be my hero of choice for this war type. But nevertheless, he's still dangerous. And I let my myself get some Scuddy stacks. But if I'm not mistaken, they get um, cleansed by War Equalizer anyways. I'm just gonna fire now. No, mm, wrong way. I didn't want to match it that way. And as you can see, since Melendor has 45% chance to summon a minion, that's extra survivability thanks to his superior talent, and that shouldn't be underestimated. All of the uh, Druid Season 1 heroes that have the superior talent, because that's two minions <laughs> that total 605, uh, 600. 50 HP at the moment, and that's quite a lot. Let's see if he gets another one, not at this time. I'm just gonna show you that, in fact, why Sir Rusli is good here because his negative attack down, so minus 20 attack damage for three turns that is usually uncleansable, it does actually get dispelled by War Equalizer. And that's it for the first half of our war. Oh, what, what? <laughs> Three one-shots, apparently only gets you to 12th place at the moment. <laughs> okay. How about we try attacking Tinsel next? Actually, I've never went up against this hero before, so I had to check what she does. She deals 340 damage to the target and nearby enemies at fast speed, mind you. Summons an elf minion for her and the, uh, and the nearby allies. And the target and nearby enemies get minus defense and minus ac accuracy equal to minus 14, minus 10 uh, percent, and this value goes down all the way to minus 54 percent defense and minus 50 percent accuracy. So my thought here is I want to bring some blues and I want to bring a cleanser. And because of this red flank, I'm also thinking that I want to bring blues and because of his fiends, I want a strong healer. So in theory, taking this team does make a lot of sense. Where is Zuri, my strong healer? Let's set 
of the troops properly. So this effect is stronger against holy units, which might be a problem, but at the same time um, it's just negative, so defense down against dark, and she's the only dark hero in her team, so I don't think that would cause too many troubles, too, too much trouble. Okay. Let's set up our yellow matches here. We're so close to our blue matches now. Let's go for Golem Bursty first. Okay, yes. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that we can have... Uh, I need to heal, even though the timing is not the best. I was gonna say that I can set up uh, my final blue match in one move, but... In the end, I don't even need to set up. This is not good. Uh, barely. Nope. I need a good target for Fenrir or he will die. Hmm. Wh what? Oh my god, I wanted to hit Domitia. Well. It is what it is. Um, maybe we can f hope for some yellows here. Oh, so close. And she hits Fenrir. Of oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. What the hell? I think uh, those heroes had their defense reduced by Tinsel, I'm pretty sure. But still, impressive damage. Okay, we got rid of the fiends. That's good. spot now plenty of healing just need to find oh and there it is my final blue match and there's actually two of them so perfect nice hit it worked well just as intended Let's see now, Hawthorne, I'm pretty sure he's not the best tank for this type of war, so I'm gonna try abusing it with a more, with a slower team. So he do does in fact counter Kongalach. Let's go for costume Sabina here. This way I counter him more, but I get countered more by um, the War Equalizer. To be honest, I cannot really decide on my last unit. Maybe our funnies. I'm not sure which team I'm gonna use last anyway, so yeah, why not? Let's try doing it like this. We have two snipers of our own. Nice 
nice little move here. Oh my god. It's not so little after all. I was gonna say that my idea here is to manipulate Hawthorne to fire right before war equalizer. But it's better to just kill him. Um Will he get hit by Kanga? That's the question. No, he won't. Which can be a bit of a problem, but hopefully we get a green match here. And perhaps I should have uh, activated the bomb. I think it would have been enough damage. Can I kill? Oh, who can I kill? Probably not. Definitely yes. Let's go with this. I don't want them to heal. Oh, nice dodge. Good job, our friends. Um, do I just go for the damage? Yeah, and perhaps this will be enough damage. Probably not, but maybe a combo. Nope. So now I won't heal. Even Guardian, I won't heal. Yeah, but this is why I wanted to use her then, I didn't want to risk her dying. And that's it, attack. Five out of six, done and successful. Awesome. Oh, 62 points, I didn't even notice. Wow. Okay, so since we're doing so well thus far, I feel like testing a newish team. I don't know, I wouldn't even call it a team, but this idea that I have of a team that might work. I'm not sure if I want to go here or here, but it doesn't really matter. So. I like pairing Captain Castrell with Guardian Falcon, okay? I'm gonna bring Annabelle as my healer. And I'm thinking about Unite here. Oh, wait. I wanna give some protection to Annabelle. And basically, this would be a 4 1 setup with three four star heroes. Is that too optimistic? Can it work? I'm not really sure. Do I want to bring a healer maybe? I don't know. I have Alexandrine, I have Osmia. But they're not so well suited for this war. So I'm just gonna kind of YOLO it and try going with this team. The troop setup will be peculiar. I believe this is the best that I can do. So let's see what happens. Four <laughs> reds. That's quite bad at the start. Okay, we'll have healing. To be honest, this doesn't help me much. I can't use it yet, it makes no sense. I need to move the board around a bit. Okay, we'll have one red match here, let's go.
I really don't like how this is going. Okay, good. Purple match. Two red tiles. Another purple match. Hopefully no one dies now. Okay. Big heal. Okay, we can heal now. And my strategy with Unite is to find the lowest armor target. Mm, in this case it is Yoon. But I have a good chance to pierce through the right side, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna risk it a bit. Oh, wait. Uh, there's a purple diamond there, but no. I'm gonna wait for my combo here. Okay, good. Mm, this was so stupid. I killed Freya. And I didn't think that Kagan would kill Freya. Okay, okay. It's still fine, it's still fine. I need to kill Yang Mei here, even though it will prolong the time that I need to get my heal. No! So unlucky, and he didn't even revive. And Guardian Falcon died to a slash attack. Again, so unlucky. Let's go for it. Hmm, he will fire after the war equalizer. Not too good. Quite a lot of damage. I need to heal ASAP. So unlucky, I lost it in the end, and Unite died so stupidly, also Guardian Fal Falcon before getting the heal, unfortunate. Yet again, eh. Captain Castrell seems totally underwhelming, but it is what it is, and uh, we still managed to get a great score, this should be an easy clean for someone, so... Uh, yeah, I'm happy with today's result. Thank you all for watching and please consider leaving a like and or subscribe. It helps us grow the channel and I hope to see you again in the next video.